We're with Doug Hefferly, product manager with System Sensor. Doug, uh, you've told us about the i4. Now tell us about the module. Okay, uh, David, I'm just going to walk you through a little bit of, of the module and, and how to wire the module. Uh, first, it's important to note that the, the module is what allows you to only have to pull two wires to, the, to each detector. Okay. So it really saves you a lot, uh, about 75% of, of wiring versus separate devices. It also does the interconnection between the detectors so that when one, um, one detector goes into alarm, they'll all sound. So it really uh, it replaces our RSS mod, uh, which you previously needed to do that interconnection. Um, so this side of the module is really what connects to the panel. Uh, the module gets its power like a four-wire smoke detector. So these first uh, two terminals are for power. Uh, that is a resettable power from the panel. The next two uh, set of terminals uh, goes to the smoke zone on the fire panel. And the next two are for an optional smoke maintenance zone. Uh, you could choose to report the maintenance signals to uh, either the smoke zone or the smoke maintenance zone. And you can change that with the, the dip switch. Uh, the next set of terminals is uh, for the CO zone. CO needs to be on its own separate non-fire zone. And then uh, the bottom two terminals are for the triggers. I'll, I'll talk about the triggers in just a minute. Um, up here on this side, we have the end line resistors. You have an end line resistor for smoke, an end line resistor for um, CO. Those are the panel end line resistors. And then this is your IDC. So this is the uh, two uh, wires that go out to the detectors. And then you'll see we've wired the detectors back style D. We've home run them back uh, with these two uh, wires here. So uh, looking at the triggers, we have a CO trigger and we have a smoke trigger. Hooking up the CO trigger to an aux relay on the panel allows us to have CO hush capability. And also if we had uh, multiple modules installed, we could uh, trigger one module and, and alarm the other module at the same time. So we could sound both modules. Same thing on the smoke side. Uh, we have a smoke trigger, which is a, a, could be a relay from the panel in. It could also be a bell output from the panel that tells it that it's in a smoke alarm situation. And then uh, a, a wiring out from the panel to those smoke triggers would, would alarm multiple uh, modules as well. So. Thank you very much. Thanks, David.